Good morning. I've decided to start vlogging again. So I'm, we're currently doing our morning routine, which in case you can't hear the sound, I'm feeding the cats. So the way our morning routine goes is Phoebe wakes us up. Actually, today has been the first time in literal weeks that she slept till seven o'clock. We've been having early mornings around here, so we're grateful. She didn't sleep great last night, but not having to start the day at 5.30 makes a big difference. So our morning routine starts with me getting Phoebe out of her sleep sack while Scott comes down and grabs a bottle. And now he is currently upstairs feeding her. And I come down and I feed the cats. Then I make a pot of coffee. Then I'll go upstairs and I'll get her laundry out of the dryer. I'll get dressed. Once he's done feeding her, he usually watches like an episode of Sesame Street or something with her. While I'm folding her laundry for the day, you guys get to really see how messy my house is now. I've just given up complete hope on, on this house ever being organized again. After they finish Sesame Street, he takes her into her room and changes her out of her pajamas and diaper. And then she plays on her playmat for a while while I'm like doing her laundry and stuff. And then maybe we'll catch up after that is all done. Okay, so what I'm currently doing is after I fold her laundry, I bring down all the clean like burp cloths and bibs and everything uh, from the laundry and I fold them and I put them in the caddies down here. Uh, he's upstairs with her playing in her room on her little farm mat watching Sesame Street. Our current routine, so he's on paid parental leave through the end of this month, so we're actually getting close to the end, so who knows what life will look like after, but right now our routine is Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are kind of like my like YouTube working mornings. So we, if the weather's good, we try to take her on a walk every day. Today the weather's not good. So like if I have to get ready to film or something, like he'll just take her on a walk by herself. Technically today I don't need to do any prep before filming. I got all my prep done last night and I don't need to do my makeup beforehand. So I could have ideally gone on a walk with them, but like I said, I think, I think Ida might be here. We're just like getting a lot of rain. So I technically could have gone today. Instead, I just set up her playroom with her little farm that we bought on Facebook Marketplace. I try to remember uh, at night to set something up in the playroom for her. Luigi's just running around like crazy, I don't know why. So yeah, since today is a Wednesday, I will be filming the last video I'm filming before we go on vacation. Hopefully I can get it edited. Because I also haven't packed I have just like random piles of things in various locations of my house, but I haven't actually packed, so I need to do that. I just finished folding, so I'll kind of show you what I did with the farm. We bought this farm for $10 on Facebook Marketplace, and then she has like a bunch of other just toys that I kind of incorporate into it and kind of make little setups for her. So Luigi is gonna show you, oh no, you're not? You're not gonna show everyone? Oh, who did that to my rug? So I just set up a little area for her to play and just do her thing in. I haven't, you know, making the playroom video is on my checklist, but this is like a double-sided mat. So the one side actually, let's see if I can, looks like a rug and we had that for a while. And once she got a little older, we flipped it to the car side, but it's this like memory foam mat. It's super cool. I actually found the company on Instagram. It was called um, Ruggish, because it looks like a rug, but it's not really a rug. It's pretty awesome, but yeah. Here is today's farm setup. It's a little chaotic. I feel like I got a little too extra last night when I was setting it up, but she'll have fun. All right, this is Phoebe's introduction into our vlogs. So Phoebe, do you wanna take everyone on a tour of the farm? You wanna show them how it works? Also, also <laughs> this position. <gasps> Phoebe, can you say James? This week we learned Phoebe can have her hair in a ponytail. So this is Phoebe's new style. It's also well, like called keep. A mushroom in a... Yeah, that's the that's yeah. the garden. That's like the the garden and the, so you're mushrooms. I'm growing in this mushrooms way? and pineapples. Oh. <laughs> Sunflowers. And yeah, I got real I got real grapes, creative last night. Strawberries. We got this on marketplace. I did mention that we get a lot on marketplace. We got that on marketplace. Oh. It on Zoom. It on the zoo. Got the zany zoo. We got this on Marketplace, the Bumbo. We got the walk. Hey, we got the walker. Yeah. We've, I mean, that's just, I think, in this room. We've got 
quite a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Whoa! Who loves the farm? Uh... Who loves the farm? She's like, how the heck am I just applying it here on my tummy? That's probably what she's thinking. Phoebe is not quite at crawling yet. We're getting there though. All right, let's let uh, her play. Gonna... Now let her play for a little and then we'll check back later. In case you're wondering, this is the after. They're sitting out front right now getting some air. He has no idea we're spying on him. I just filmed the video. Phoebe just woke up from her nap. She's eating a bottle. I just made her oatmeal. She's gonna have that after. When she eats her oatmeal, she watches Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I'm gonna go clean up the farm stitch in the playroom and set up something new for her next week window since it's all wet outside. Are you excited? Are you excited? Okay, I'm gonna go do that now. So she just finished her oatmeal, so I just gave her some frozen berries to chew on, suck on. Uh, right now she has blackberries and strawberries, and she'll just chill here and watch Mickey and eat some berries. So for those pacifiers, I just have a bunch of these silicone like ice cream trays, and I just keep frozen fruit in the freezer, and I just refill it. Like this one right now has some blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, watermelon. I just kind of refill the tray as spots empty. We recently got this little apple looking thing off Amazon so I can tether things on her high chair for her to play with for a little. And of course she gets to watch Mickey Mouse with her best friend. So haven't vlogged in about a day and a half. On Wednesday night, Hurricane Ida, it was Wednesday, right? Hit and we had a bunch of crazy rain and a tornado warning and it was a it was a very busy time, so I didn't get time to vlog. And then yesterday, we basically spent the whole day packing for a road trip. Look at this. Toes. I forgot we have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's uh, Yes, so this is not all of our stuff. There's a whole roof carrier above us. But I thought I'd show you our setup. So we got Phoebe over here. I found this little thing on Amazon for entertainment. I also got her a new tea there, so she's very happy right now. Uh, in between us, I have one of her diaper caddies, and I have medicine, and wet ones, burp cloths, bibs, her lovey, uh, hand wipes for her. This is the remote for the penguin. Am I even showing it? It's her lovey. Uh, there's some toys in here, an iPad. Her diaper bags are here. Blanket and pillow for me. Books, snacks. And then we got this little like behind the seat thing and I have more toys, I have water for me, my sunglasses, her pacifier. So yeah, could be more cramped for sure. Definitely could be. I'm gonna let this girl wear herself out and hopefully take a big nap. Are you gonna take a big nap? Bye. So we are back from vacation if you caught the unboxing our mail video. Um, that was the day after we got home. It was really nice. We went to Seneca Lake with my family. It was the first time we'd all actually been together since New Year's Eve 2019 going into 2020. So it's been quite a while since my whole family was together, like me and my siblings. This morning we went to the doctor for Phoebe to talk about her potential egg allergy. Basically no eggs until her first birthday well, where they'll do an allergy test. So now I get to maybe make her an egg-free first birthday cake. Maybe that's what we'll do. In the meantime, I thought I'd do some fall decor footage before I end up this vlog. Also, I did get a lot of yeses to compiling all the vlog footage from the beginning of the year 
and I'm just gonna put them all together. I have footage from right before we went to the hospital to have Phoebe, and then I have some footage from like May and June. I don't even remember what I filmed, honestly, it was so long ago. Yeah, but let me give you a little bit of a tour of some of our fall decor that I have up. Starting with our mantle, this to me is not finished. I feel like I need something like there and there to kind of to even everything out, but this is the garland that I showed in my fall haul. And then if I get a little closer, pretty sure a lot, a lot of this stuff is older stuff. Like I got him at the dollar store one year and then there's just like a collection of different like fall things I've accumulated over the years. I think this was from Home Goods. I think this was from TJ Maxx a while ago. And then I think a lot of this stuff is either dollar spot or dollar store stuff. My couch is looking a mess <laughs> right now, but I have some fall pillow covers and this blanket that we put out during the fall time, Phoebe's pumpkins, this <laughs> pillow cover, which is ridiculous, but Phoebe loves it. Uh, up here, we have a bunch of pumpkin-y stuff. I think everything on the top is from the Dollar Tree. Then the white and blue is Target. The P is the Dollar Tree. This sign we actually got when we went to Salem right before we got Mario. Uh, all the pumpkins are from Target previous years. Uh, there's where I put that tree from the Target Tuesday a couple weeks ago. I do want to get a second one for up there. I've very briefly started working on the outside. Okay, so like my shadow is gonna get in the way, but this is the rug I got at the dollar store and then I got this plaid one underneath it on Amazon. And then I put some double-sided tape in between so that it wouldn't like slide around when people step on it. And then I got this at the dollar store as well. So we're making progress. The last thing I'll show you, I haven't actually like set up yet. Um, Scott and I actually made something. We wanted to get a welcome sign for outside, but they're like $40, $60 on Amazon. And I was like, let me see what I can do. And I found a stencil on Amazon. So he cut and stained wood and then I painted it. So what I found online was you kind of use painter's tape to kind of tape it and line it up. Then you use Mod Podge over the stencil area to kind of seal the stencil so the paint can't bleed under the stencil. And then to use a makeup sponge to kind of dab the paint on. And it worked out so well, I literally can't believe it. And we wound up having all of the materials we needed. And the only thing I bought was the stencils, which was like $13. So we spent $13 on this instead of, you know, some crazy amount <laughs> so welcome to my garage uh, it's currently drying but yeah Scott and I made that I feel like it looks pretty good especially considering it's homemade and the stencil kit came with like a lot more than just like this like it did have an O it also has different seasonal things you could put in place of an O so we could make another one it also let me see if I can find it it also the set came with a bunch of other like different stencils here so like Hello Spring, like it has a bunch of these guys, but a lot of these kind of stencils too. So we can really like stencil things up. But yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end this vlog. Let me know if you guys like the vlogs coming back because I still have all those random footage clips that I haven't even looked at from a few months ago and we can keep vlogging going forward. Definitely going to have some really fun stuff coming in October. That's all I'm gonna say. See you in the next vlog.